Southeast Iowa, welcome to the show. Sorry, thank you. It's Shauna Laura is the full name. Shauna Laura? Um, Shauna Laura, like Shauna Lulu. Oh, like Shauna Lulu, of course. Right, Shauna Laura. Shauna Laura, (laughs) like Shauna Lulu. Anyhow, that's not why I called. Um, So I have this whole, yeah. (laughs) I'm a huge fan. I um, listen pretty much every day now for the past, mm, like, year. Okay. And um, like three year, three years ago, I had no interest, no knowledge about politics at all. And um, now I'm a Bernie volunteer. I phone bank every week, and I try to get out um, canvassing once a week if I can. And I just really, really appreciate everything I learn from y'all. And I don't know if Michael is still there, but I came to his show um, in Chicago, and it was really inspiring Thank and you. awesome. Um, how did you yeah. find, uh, how did you find uh, our show? Um, <laughs> so I, um, was a single parent for a long time. Um, and me and my daughter kind of just started watching the primaries in 2015 and just kind of like as entertainment, honestly. <laughs> um, and of course, like everyone else, we just, you know, watched <laughs> the buffoon rise rise and rise. And then, um, honestly, I started, um, getting more, I, we watch on YouTube, um, and started getting more Pac-Man videos showing up, listen to him. I still listen to him, but, um, you guys became my, my regular, um, after a while. That's good to um, hear. Sounds right. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, one, I mean, here's one example of how people don't really understand how, like, you know, government affects them. Um, through my 20s, being a single parent, I had all kinds of health problems, mental health problems, didn't have insurance. Um, in my 30s, <laughs> um, I suddenly qualified for health insurance. And it wasn't until I started educating myself, you know, by listening to you guys and um, that I learned that it was because Iowa expanded Medicaid <laughs> is why, you know, in my 30s. And luckily, because I ended up having much worse health problems um, that, you know, I really needed insurance for. But, um, so wait, so let me ask you this. Of... I mean, this is, this is, I mean, cause the, the, the dynamic you've just explained, I think is a huge um, failure of, you know, uh, I, I mean, it was a huge failure of the Obama administration. It was a huge failure of the, the, the nominal left at large to sort of like educate people about that. How did you like, I mean, mm-hmm. why, why do you think it was that, I mean, how, how does that happen that you get, um, uh, Medicaid and you don't realize at first, like, oh, this is a function of some, of a policy decision. Right. I mean, um, you know, I single parent of a little kid in right. my early twenties, I just, I wasn't prepared. I was just kind of knew that there was going to be programs out there and just, you know, my job, um, once I became that single parent when my daughter was very young was like, okay, I got to get as much help as I can. You know, I didn't even have time to finish college before I had my kid. Um, and so, you know, I'm so busy, like trying to make ends meet and basically, you know, in survival mode right. for about a decade. <laughs> I met my husband a few years ago, but, um, yeah, I mean, and then it, you know, that kind of shows how it's in a way a luxury. It's like, um, we had gotten to, a, you know, I got into a much more stable place that, you know, time to like pay attention to something and, you know, and then it shows like Pacman and you guys and Kyle Klinsky, I listen to everybody, you know, that just make it accessible. And then I just, you know, started really figuring out, you know, putting two and two together. Um, so yeah. Um, can I just tell it? Yeah. Did you have a question? No, no, go ahead. Or, I, Okay, so um, can I just tell a, funny, a quick funny story? Yes. Um, so I am volunteering. I am I have a lot of anxiety, um, but I'm trying to get better at talking to people. Um, so I was just feeling especially bold at the farmer's market in my little town, which I live in kind of a bizarre little town. It's where um, the guru to the Beatles brought his like You live in the Maharishi's <laughs> town in Iowa? I I do far I out. I'm yeah <laughs> it's and it's a very out. interesting place. It had the high our county Jefferson County had the highest uh, Bernie vote last 
last time around, so that was kind of cool. TM is good then. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. I said TM is good then. It's helping people vote for Bernie. <laughs> yeah, um, there's actually a really strange um, group in the TM movement at the top that are Trump fans because um, his daughter does TM. It's of course. <laughs> some of the That's really good. in deep cult That's followers are a little strange. Story. But anyways, so I was feeling it. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard no, time. Go ahead. Oh, no, go sorry, ahead. sorry, go ahead. Okay, anyway, so I was feeling especially bold at um, our little farmer's market last week and um, saw the Tulsi table. I have seen it, you know, several weeks. Walked up and I just said, hey, guys, you know, who, who are you going to vote for when Tulsi drops out? And the woman, she says, oh, we're we're in it. We want her to win. And then somebody tells me that it's Tulsi's parents. <laughs> But I just asked that question too. Oh. I don't I don't know why Chelsea's parents are in Fairfield at the farmers market, but that's that's who I asked that question to. Oh. <laughs> nice. Well I hope uh <laughs> well Hope that doesn't stay let me, bold. Let me tell you this. Yes, yeah, I'll just say like, don't let that uh, play into uh, y- you know your anxiety. That will never ever happen again. I promise you. <laughs> you will never ever cool. run into the parents of the candidate that you are basically saying won't happen again. You should abandon support, especially like person. Kamala Harris. Like her dad clearly not backing her. Candidacy. This is not going to happen. Like statistically Booty speaking, too. you yeah. Yeah, but, you right. understand yeah. that you have basically met. <laughs> Every possible anxiety you could have <laughs> regarding that, you have now championed. It's a good You've sign. moved past it, yeah. and it's um, never going to get more also... awkward than that. <laughs> That's right. Um, I did also wear, I, I try to see a lot of candidates come through here because the people in this community are really politically active. Um, and I did go see Tulsi the last time she was here, and I wore my D's Nuts 2016 shirt just for fun. There you go. You all remember these nuts? Yep, yes. Yep. Oh, yeah. No. I've, uh, sounds uh, sounds like you're you're getting bolder and bolder. Uh, appreciate the call. I'm trying. Great, thanks. great thank meeting you. you in Chicago. Really, thank you. I hope we did. Thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks again. Yeah. Thanks for the yes, support and thanks okay. for um, uh, all you're doing uh, for uh, Bernie. That's good. Speaking of that, D's nuts. Did you not see that thing that I sent you about the uh, impeachment song? We could do that tomorrow. We'll do.